Hello and welcome to day 13 of Will and Ian riding from Brisbane to Canberra to raise money for Are You Okay? And if you're wondering why I skipped day 12 and you can't find it, it's because it was a break day and it was kind of boring. We woke up an hour earlier than what we usually do this morning because we thought we'd be doing a lot more kilometres today. Emphasis on the we thought. But anyway, I'll get to that later. I grabbed myself a coffee from the nearest servo and uh, I smashed that one down real quick and was keen to get on with the day. Ian and I really enjoyed the trip west out of Sydney. We got to see so many beautiful things. For example, this pristine little lake. I mean, look at it. It's honestly stunning. Next up, we passed through this very elegant little suburb called Bankstown, and then we stumbled across a mini Sydney Harbour Bridge. Like, for real, that's actually kind of cool. We smashed down a couple of snags for morning tea, and then went and refilled our camel packs with Macca's water. I think I went through eight cups of water, but at least I bought chips off them. Then we went and did the shopping for the next two days rations because we were gonna try and get to Canberra in two days. But uh, we'll see how that goes. As we were riding along, we thought we could hear a bush doof, and sure enough, Yeah, bro. Turns out pretty much all the boys have been following the journey on TikTok and they gave us free Pepsi. Absolute legends. Back on the highway now and all of a sudden, out of the blue, the temperature shot up to 33 degrees. And that is the hottest it's been all trip. And what's worse is we had to climb up a whole mountain. And obviously that means a lot of hills and a lot of walking in the hot sun. But look, usually I would say it's all worth it for the good view, but to be honest, guys, I don't think it was worth it this time for once because we were just so hot. But it was a little bit rewarding. Whenever you do something hard like that, like for us going up a massive hill, it, it always gives you a bit of satisfaction. So you know what? In the end, I guess it was worth it. But just as we thought we couldn't take any more of the sun, we saw a storm coming and we were really excited because that meant it'd cool us down. But then it actually hit us. But let me tell you now, it was not your average storm. The wind was blowing down trees. It was blowing dust everywhere, like into my eyes. The power at the petrol station went out. And, and actually the whole suburb for that matter. But then we had a stroke of luck. Bargo Petroleum, which is the server we're at, gave us some free water and looked after us for a bit. And then something even more crazy happened. A lady named Donna stopped by the side of the road and asked us if we wanted to stay at hers and get out of the storm. And of course we said yes. And she fed us so much food and gave us a really nice bed to sleep in. Thank you so much for that, Donna. Anyways, I'll see you guys on day 14.